the FE or Fighting Vehicle 432. And both those vehicles were providing the same role for different armies. Uh, the M113, it's now the most numerously made armoured vehicle of all time. Uh, an awful lot of M113. Driver in the front sits next to the engine and you can get 11 soldiers in the back. And there's a nice big square door, the Mowang Trap. Uh, and back in about 1978, the South Africans were trying to design a vehicle uh, in their counterinsurgency campaigns that was, would protect the infantry carried behind. And that's why it's so high up. So if it drove over a mine, the guys in the back would be safe from the mine blast. And they'd actually have to enter that rear compartment by climbing up over the top. It doesn't have a door at all. And uh, again, very sensibly, they built the Bufal on, uh, on components that at the time we sanctioned South Africa was going to be able to get hold of. So lots of simple engineering uh, simple truck components uh, to be able to build that one. Now behind the Bufal, uh, what were on the end on a hollow charge missile and that was enough to pretty much blow up any tank at the time. They used it for two spare missiles that carried in pods and the idea for that vehicle it could be dropped out of a, a Beverly aircraft with a cluster of parachutes, land and support airborne troops so the uh, badge on the side is actually from the parachute scope and these vehicles would splatter all over the place so they parachuted separately marry up with the vehicles and it gave airborne troops just a little bit of armour protection and the capability of taking the tanks if you agree. Now Malcar was supposedly effective after about 4,000 metres. Uh, the honest truth though is uh, it took a lot of six wheels, same drivetrain. This one is a load carrier. And uh, the idea of Stalwart, uh, Stalwart was that uh, it was amphibious load carrier. So it could cross rivers or streams or lakes if the bridges had been blown up. You could put your, and it was amphibious. And it could actually head across quite a bit of water to get those supplies. They look like they're going, oh, I'm going to finish off with that last weird and wonderful thing. That's called the uh, Tupperware tank here. It's another one of these design concept vehicles. Um, it's a vehicle that was put together. Um, its technical title is Advanced Finish Plane with the Vehicle. We actually got it here for the museum. We paid the Prince Leaf price of one pound. See, if, see what the development potential is. Oh, 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 oh.